Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. So we just finished the Bushcraft 101, had a great class, lots of great projects, lots of good times. Those guys are gone about a half an hour, 40 minutes now, and I'm just doing some final cleanup things down here. And I wanted to shoot a video for you guys today, I've been wanting to shoot for a while, and just never sat down and shot it. So I thought today would be a good day to do that because I hadn't made content all weekend really. So it's a good time to throw something out there because I've been down here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and half a Sunday teaching this class, which that's my normal routine. Either Friday through Sunday or Thursday through Sunday, I'm teaching almost every week. So I have to get my content out early in the week. What I thought we'd do today is we would look at what I would call an EDS, not EDC, EDS, okay? And I'm not trying to be fancy and make up something new, but EDC is your everyday carry. So those are the things that you carry with you every day. And 90% of the time, the things that I see people say are their EDC are damn sure not things they're carrying every single day, or they're swapping them in and out all the time with different similar items. So obviously it's not their everyday carry because they're not carrying that every day, right? EDS, everyday system, is everything from the clothing on your back to the things in your pockets, to the peripheral things like your watch. That's what I would call an everyday system. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about today because my EDS is truly something that I use every single day. Some of this stuff has been developed recently as far as added to, but the core of this system and the core of these items are things that I didn't just start using today or yesterday or I'm sold because I've been using it for a week. I've been doing this stuff for years like this. Some of this stuff since it even came out of the market like this hat we're gonna talk about, you know, five, six years or how long this thing's been on the market, I've been wearing it since it came out. So Go Ruck boots is another one. You know, I've been wearing Go Rucks since Go Rucks were fairly new, the Mac V ones, and I'm still wearing them today. And we'll talk about that in this video. So let's talk about my EDS in this video today. Stay with me. What do I wear every day? Because it's not just what you carry, it's actually what you wear. And I'm a minimalist kind of guy. So I wear almost the same clothes every single day. If you watch my videos, you'll see that, that I consistently wear the same clothes, the same shoes, the same hat, the same everything almost every day. The shirt may vary in color from between a tan and a green, but they're exactly the same shirt. So let's start with the hat and work our way down and we'll talk about what's in my pockets as well. So this is a Wazoo Survival Cache Cap. And this is the hat that we all use at the Pathfinder School. Every instructor at the school has the same hat. The green, dark green OD hats are for helpers. The tan hats are for associate instructors that haven't met all of the criteria to be full-time instructors at the school yet. And then the black hats are for full-time instructors at the school. They have a Velcro patch on the front of them that you can put any patch you want on. We use a Pathfinder School Worldwide patch here at the school. On the inside of this thing, there is a built-in signal panel with a reflective X that you can use in the woods for either signaling to someone else to let them know where you're at if they have a headlight and you don't have one, or also for signaling for rescue and things like that. It can be used as a signal panel. There's also pockets inside this hat. There's been lots and lots of videos on this, I'm sure. I've been wearing one of these for at least a couple, three years. Like ever since he came out with this hat, I've been wearing nothing exclusively but this hat. And it has pockets on the side, on the insides here, and pockets in the front here that are Velcro. Now, I'm not a big fan of carrying a ton of stuff in my hat because I don't want the weight and I don't want the bulk. There's two things on this hat that are important to me. Number one is that, or three things, I guess. Number one is it has that signal panel on the inside. Number two is in this front pocket that's right behind basically this patch, I carry a simple Fresnel lens. This is a multifunctional item for me. Number one, it's a fire starter. Number two, if I lose my glasses, which have to be part of my everyday carry because I need them to read up close, this can replace that temporarily if something happens to them. It's also good for things like hygiene and first aid. On the band of this hat, on the back band, I have a Suunto button compass. It's kind of made for a wristwatch, but I carry it on the back of that because it doesn't weigh anything. It allows me to take that hat off in the woods and get in the general direction if for some reason I didn't know it. 99.9999999% of the time, I know exactly where I'm at. I mean, there's 4,000 acres out here, and there's probably not one acre I haven't been on somewhere in the last 10 years that I've been out here. But I carry this button compass as a good reference piece. 
It does have a dialable bezel ring on it, so you can't actually navigate with this compass because it has a movable bezel ring. However, you can't plug declination into it, so you gotta do the math if you're trying to use a map with this compass. But those two things are important to me, and it's easy and no-brainer to just leave that stuff on the hat, put it on every day, and I've got those two items with me no matter what, no matter what. Now, the shirts that I wear, these are no-brand shirt from overseas. We've talked about carrying these on the website. We haven't done it yet. You can buy them on Amazon. They're just a no-brand outdoor fishing style shirt. They have zip on, zip off sleeves, so they're convertible from a long sleeve to short sleeve. They have venting in the back. They're made for things like fishing. They're an outdoor, quick dry type shirt. We've got the Pathfinder instructor on them. So the pockets of this shirt, one pocket side is empty. The other pocket, I like the fact that it has this smaller pocket on the front of it because that allows me to put two right in the rain pens in there. When you're an instructor, pens are an important thing to have because you're making notes all the time. Generally, in the top pocket, I will carry two right in the rain notebooks. Doesn't matter if they're two different colors or not. This one happens to be the one for the Bushcraft 101 course. So any course notes that I'm writing, any outline changes I wanna make, anything I'm gonna do different in this class versus the next one, because they're all a little bit different depending on seasonality, resource availability, weather, all those types of things dictate sometimes changing in classes. So my notes from the Bushcraft 101 are in this notebook from the weekend. And then I have one blank one that I can just write odd notes in if I need to when I'm in the woods or if I'm in class. But I keep two of those in here as well. And that's an everyday thing for me. Every day, every day, those things are in my pocket. Put them back in there, okay? That takes care of the shirt. Now we get down to the pants, okay? The pants that I wear, to be honest with you, more than any other pair of pants is Levi's 505 waterless blue jeans. They're not blue, these are tan, right? But they are a Levi's jean. You can like them or hate them, it doesn't matter to me, I can care less. I wear them every single day. I have two pairs of them. I've been wearing them every single day for a solid year. They have never let me down. I've never worn through a pair of them. And I've never had problems with walking through briars and things like that. I have good protection on my legs. Do they dry out as fast as something quick dry like this? No, they don't. But they give me good protection. They're not too awful hot. Even on a weekend like this past weekend where it was 95 with 103 degree heat index, they weren't that bad if I had to walk somewhere. So that's what I wear. Now, in my pants, that's the next thing we should talk about, right? So on one side of my pocket, I have obviously a cigarette lighter. That's a no brainer that I'm gonna have a cigarette lighter. The next thing I have in there is my six foot utility cord with one toggle attached to it. And at the end on the stop knot, there is a micro light. I can't remember the name of this thing now. Um, it's got a name, photon, something like that. I think it's called a photon light. But it just gives me a light without having to carry some extra flashlight or headlamp in my pocket, and it just hangs there so it's easy to use, okay, if I just need a quick light. So that is basically my utility cord that's attached to that. The other thing that I have in my pocket when I'm teaching is a carving jack, and this is a flex cut, six or seven tool, like a six tool carving jack. It has lots and lots of tools on it from gouges to chisels to a carving knife blade to a hook knife blade Anything that I want to make intricately or show someone how to make something really fast on the fly, this knife does it for me really well. So it's kind of like a bushcraft multi-tool, for the sake of a better word. Now, on my belt, I carry an SAK. I carry an SAK every day. It's got a set of pacing beads attached to it. I talked about in the video before. I clip on and clip off for navigation. This is the Outrider model of the SAK. This one's an OD green. I think we're gonna have them on our website pretty soon in black. You can buy them on, you know, on Amazon in black. What I really like about this tool is, number one, I like the corkscrew because I can put a small screwdriver in there for adjusting declination on student compasses, but it's also good for a set of eyeglasses, right? I like the fact that it has a pair of scissors on it for hygiene. That's the one difference between this and the Forester, I believe it is is the scissors, okay? You got one more layer in there that has scissors in it, and I like that, both for hygiene, for fishing, and for just cutting quick cordage and things like that. It works out really well. Other than that, it's got a nice blade on it that's not too big. It's not as big as my belt knife blade, 
but it's small enough and narrow enough that I can do some fine carving work with it if I need to, if the carving jack blade is too small. And then it's got the two screwdrivers, Phillips can openers, all that stuff, and it's got an extra saw blade. But the big thing is it also has a can, or excuse me, it also has a toothpick and a pair of tweezers. Never can you underrate those two things as far as personal hygiene and first aid goes or self-aid goes. So that goes in the belt pouch in my pocket right here in a Swiss Army pouch, okay? Then I wear a belt. Now, the belt that I wear most every day in the woods is a Bison Designs belt. This one is really old. You can see that the color's almost completely worn off of it. I can guarantee you this thing is almost 10 years old. Now I'm gonna stay this for a minute because I'm gonna show you something else first that's in my other pocket. My other pocket only contains one thing, a rat tourniquet. Again, I'm teaching students every day. So a rat tourniquet or some kind of tourniquet on my person is a good idea, no matter what. I also have this belt. This is kind of my backup. This belt works really well when you pull it down and bring it around. When you come back up, you can cinch it down as hard as you want to cinch it down this direction. When you come back around and you put it through here, the thing will absolutely not come undone. There's enough friction on the belt between that and the buckle that it absolutely will not come undone. So it is not only a good, decent belt that I've never worn out or torn up, it's also a decent backup to a tourniquet if for some reason I would need more than one or couldn't get to this or something like that, I've always got that with me. I'm not saying I would use this as a tourniquet as my first priority. I'm saying it's a backup situation as a first aid item. But to me, it's just a great belt and that's why I've been wearing it for so long. You get down below the pants, it's darn tough socks. Every single stinking day, I wear darn tough socks. I wear ex officio underwear every day, every day, every day. And then I wear one of our Pathfinder blend, cotton blend t-shirts. Every day, same thing. Been doing it for a long, long time now, and it just works for me. The ex officio underwear, same six pair, way over a year old. Um, I bought them right after my house burnt down, so they're about three years old now. Never wore a pair out. I bought seven more pairs of Darn Tough socks and got a couple of promotional pairs since then. Never wore a pair of Darn Tough socks out. Bought these two pairs of Levi 505s over a year ago. I've never worn them out. I've never worn one of these shirts out yet other than burning a hole in them by a fire because they are a nylon shirt. I have burned a hole in one, but I've never torn a hole or worn out ever. And I've still got the same three or four that I've had for two or three or four years now. The hats, once they fade out, I just toss it and I put on another one and I start fresh with a nice shiny clean black one until it fades out in the sun and then I toss it and do it again. On my wrist, Casio analog watch. I'm not a big fan of digital, I like the analog for lots and lots of reasons, um, but the Casio has never let me down, so I keep on wearing it. So on my feet, I guess we'll go all the way down to the bottom, still wearing Go Rucks. You can look at my videos from two, three years ago, reviewing Go Ruck Mac V1s, still wearing them. Have I worn them out? Yes, I've worn through two pair, but I'm out here in these woods, in this rough terrain, in the rocks, in the mud, in the water, out of the water, every single day. So yes, I wore two pair of them out, wore the soles out on them, and they immediately replaced both pair like it was nothing. I have two pairs of Go Ruck boots. I switch them in and out when they get wet. If they're too wet and I can't try them out, I'll switch out for the next day if I'm teaching and things like that. Other than that, I'm good to go. It's encompassing of a lot of things that I may need every single day. Now, obviously I have a backpack that's got a water bottle in it. It's got shelter in it. It's got cordage in it. It's got all of those five and 10 C items in it. These are just items that are on my body for immediate grab and go that I use most often. Now, I wouldn't say that with things like the tourniquet, obviously, because I've never had to use it, thank God, right? But the carving jack, the SAK, the utility rope, little flashlight, you know, when you're trying to see something in a dark space or in the evening before you turn on your headlight, a cigarette lighter, those things are a no-brainer. Every single day they get used. Notebooks get used every single day to write some note or jot something down. So I've always got notebooks and pens with me. And other than that, it's really all I need on my person that I've found over the course of the last, you know, several years. Some of this stuff has developed over the last year. 
You know, like the things with this ridge line having a toggle on it or this utility cord having a toggle on it, adding a flashlight to one end of it. Those are new developments. Things like the mini pacing beads or what I would call the lanyard, the lanyard, pacing lanyard. That kind of stuff is new. These will be on our website in about a week um, in both OD green and orange. But they, and they have the clip on them to fit on your knife like this. So those are a new development. But most of this core stuff is things that I've been doing all along and it's worked for me. And so that's why I'm gonna sit down and tell you, hey, I'm sold on this. Not because I got it last week, not because I've used it five times, because I've been using it week in and week out to teach, to travel myself, to shoot video, to hang out in the woods, to do the things I need to do. They work for me. It's that simple. None of this stuff, other than maybe an SAK, is something we sell on our website. So I'm not trying to push it to my website. You can buy a lot of this stuff on Amazon. But wherever you find it, whatever you do, or however you set it up, just make sure it works for you. Okay, guys, I appreciate you joining me this afternoon for this video on my EDS. I think it's an important video to get out there because I think it kind of lets you look at things in maybe a little bit different perspective from a perspective of someone who kind of, number one, is a minimalist in a way, although I have lots and lots of gear because I have to trial and test lots of things, the core of what I use all the time becomes part of my EDS. And those things stay with me almost every day. They're just other things added to it and taken away that I'm using or testing or creating or working on or marketing, things like that, okay? So I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video soon. And if you stayed long enough to hear this part of the video, then you're going to get a bonus. Because if you watched my last video on the satellite system called Defy by Motorola, I could not get a code from them because they are actually giving away a one-year basic plan with the purchase of that item. But they are sending me one to give away that will include one year of free service. Stick around because that giveaway is coming right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks guys.